What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of The Breakdown. And Dallas Mavericks have done it. After being down 2-1 to one in the best of seven, they reel off three wins in a row, close out Miami Heat 105-95 to to take the series, win the NBA championship four games to two. Where do we start with this? I mean, Dirk, he may have not had a great game in the, in the clincher, but Dirk deserves this championship. If he didn't get this one, when was he going to get it? And now Dirk can be spoken of in the same breath with the likes of Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, uh, Paul Gasol, and, and, and a few others to name. Because he has that ring on his finger. And some can say nobody deserved this more than Dirk. And Dallas deserved it. If you ask me, who is the one team, if you go back four or five years ago when Phoenix and the Spurs, when Phoenix and San Antonio Spurs were the two of the better teams in the West, who was that other team that was there with them? And it was Dallas. Who's been through the wars with San Antonio Spurs in the playoffs? Dallas Mavericks. Who's been through the wars with the Phoenix Suns in the playoffs when the Phoenix Suns had Dan Tony in the seven seconds or less. Dallas Mavericks, Jason Terry, Dirk Nowitzki. Those guys have been through the fire. Those guys know what it takes to win. Yes, they have been disappointed uh, time and time again, but I believe that if, if if Dallas does not go through those through those wars with San Antonio and Phoenix five and six years ago, or pretty much over the last 10 years, if they don't battle those two teams, they may not be holding this trophy tonight. And Dallas was able to beat San Antonio and Phoenix on occasion over the last 10 years in the playoffs. And these were not push over Phoenix and San Antonio Spurs teams. So Dallas has been there and done it before and they've got a cast of younger guys or younger guys like Chandler who are not completely young but they've got a good mix of guys and Dallas has been there and Dallas has done it before especially Dirk Nowinski and Jason Terry those guys have been there now on the other side of it the Miami Heat they're going to take a lot of criticism LeBron James uh, to name a few they're going to take a lot of criticism. I mean, San Antonio goes out of the playoffs. They beat Boston. The Los Angeles Lakers are out of the playoffs. We all thought that this was this was the Miami Heat's chance. I mean, it was wide open. It was there for the taking. They were up by 15 in game two. And they couldn't close it. And although the Miami Heat played well against the Philadelphia 76ers and the Bulls and the Celtics. And don't get me wrong, I'm not asking Miami to make things tougher for them. I'm not asking Miami to make things tougher for themselves than, than to just go win a series. If, if you can win it 4-0, to zero, go win it. But although LeBron James was closing out games against Boston and closing out games against the Bulls, they were up 3-1. to one. There was no pressure to do it. There was no pressure to make those shots. If he missed, they still would have been up three games to two in both of those series. And now we saw the true colors of the Miami Heat when things got a little bit tough and they actually did have something to lose and they were not able to come through and perform. And as far as LeBron James maybe being better than Jordan... We can squash that talk because although LeBron James had a triple-double and then he scored 21 points in the closeout game, I don't care what you say. You have to watch this series. LeBron James did not come to play. Or I'm not going to say he didn't come to play, but that was not the LeBron James we saw all, 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 all regular season, all throughout the playoffs. For, for, forget closing out the game. So let's talk about the course of the game. That was not the same LeBron James. He didn't have it. For whatever reason, LeBron James was not the same guy in the finals. For whatever reason, 
And as far as I'm concerned, as far as I am concerned, Kobe Bryant may very well st- still be better than LeBron James. It's all it's all it's called what have you done for me lately? And Kobe may have not Kobe may have got beat by the same Mavericks team, but Kobe goes down fighting. LeBron James didn't go down fighting. D Wade went down fighting. Despite he didn't have a great game, but he went down fighting and I can respect that. LeBron James is not Michael Jordan. He never will be. Now, I don't care how many championships he comes back to win. He never will be Michael Jordan. And as far as I'm concerned right now, because of the way LeBron James performed on the big stage in the finals, Kobe Bryant's still better than LeBron James, in my opinion. And Dwayne Wade is better than LeBron James, in my opinion. So... But everybody's entitled to their own. You guys probably have your own opinion. But uh, congratulations to the Dallas Mavericks. They deserved it. We don't need to talk about what Miami didn't do. It's what Dallas did do. And they executed. They were able to come back. And they never wilted. And for you Miami Heat fans out there, if you're thinking that Miami's just going to automatically win it next year, check yourself. Because... Last time I checked, Kobe is still in the league, and he's going to be hungry. Last time I checked, uh, Dirk's coming back next year. Last time I checked, uh, the Celtics are going to come back next year, and they're going to be looking for revenge on the Miami Heat. So that's all I got to say. I'm out.